Alright bro, regardless of where you're currently at in life and where your future plans are going to eventually lead you towards, I'm here to tell you that as a man, you are built to be an alchemist. Let me say that again. As a man, you are built to be an alchemist. And you might be wondering, what the fuck does that even mean? What do you mean by being an alchemist? What do you mean, like, as a man, I'm built to do that? Am I supposed to do magic tricks? Am I supposed to do pull rabbits out of a hat? Am I supposed to be a neurochemist? Am I supposed to be a biochemist? No, you're supposed to be an alchemist. So just sit back and relax because it's time for your boy to break this bitch down real quick like a brick for y'all. Now, this whole concept and this whole idea of alchemy can be looked at from all the wisdom of the past, all the arcane and esoteric wisdom of the past as not only an actual chemical uh, process where these people were taking base metals like lead like copper and everything like that and then transmuting them into gold but also this is a spiritual analogy or a spiritual metaphor or a spiritual allegory for your overall evolution in life that is taking your base metals or your base substances your base compounds of your mind body and soul alchemizing them and transmuting them to spiritual gold and what do I really mean by that? Because hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down, but what do, what do we really mean by I'm saying that as a man, you're meant to be an alchemist? Well, as a man, I don't care, again, what position you're at in life, where your goals are heading, heading you towards. You have a vision. You have a mental vision of what you want your life to look like, of what you want your overall future to materialize into you dream about it consciously during the day sometimes and subconsciously when you go to sleep and this is why not only do the society try to beat that out of you but they want to try to dim that dream or dim that light or dim that vision down to the point where you don't know your direction in life and when you don't know your direction in life, guess what? You're going to look externally for somebody else or something else to give you that direction. School, parents, friends, family, society, everything else that you see, social media, they're going to give you the direction. But as a man, as an alchemist, as a true masculine alchemist, you can never let go of that vision. You can never let go of that internal dream that you're eventually going to alchemize and manifest out into your external reality. Because that's what we're all men here, brought here to do in some way, shape, or form. I'm not saying everyone's gonna be fucking cooking up uh, science experiments in, the, in their trailer like it's fucking Breaking Bad, but an alchemist is taking that information, those God-given insights and those intuitions, and actually producing them by taking the physical steps and physical actions towards bringing them into reality. There's a reason why you have your vision and it's not my vision, it's not the next guy's vision, it's not anybody else's vision other than yours. You're given certain visions and you're given certain gifts, attributes, skills and qualities with this specific unique mind body that you were given to uh, during this incarnation to actually make that happen think of like all of your thoughts let's break it down all of your thoughts are not yours none of them are yours you are never consciously really thinking about anything you are getting information from the ether from a higher source and depending on what type of frequency your mind is essentially set at like a radio transmitter if it's fm if it's am if it's uh, 97.1, 102.7, 95 point whatever, like all those different types of radio stations are going to produce different types of sounds and different types of songs and different types of just overall stimulus. The way your brain is set, the frequency it's set to, will directly correlate to what kind of thoughts you attract. When you're always on someone else's station radio station on their frequency guess what 
you're not going to get the type of information you need, those insights you need to be able to actually alchemize and bring that vision to reality. You're getting someone else's vision. You're getting someone else's agenda and you're helping them do it. I'm not saying that's evil or anything like that, but as a man, God didn't make you or the universe didn't make you to come here and produce someone else's thing. May, may have brought you here to help assist on someone else's journey, yes, but at the end of the day, there's some unique quality, there's some unique niche or niche that you were brought here to accomplish. And the more you understand that, the more you understand that you are truly an alchemist, the more you're going to start to actually raise your frequency to that right station, to that right level. Because again, the entire external world is a, filled with a bunch of illusions to pull you into their station, to pull you into their um, frequency to the point where you can't hear that God-given intuition, that God-given insight, that God-given direction in life to actually help you navigate throughout this journey and become the best version of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually in order to actually produce those types of um, prophecies, if you want to call it that, that are embedded into your mind, embedded into your psyche. There's a reason why you have these types of internal desires, innate desires. It's like no one told you to do this or do that. It's just something that you've always wanted to do. It feels like you just have a calling towards it. A lot of people forget about that. And a lot of their environment, their surroundings, make them forget about it until the point where they don't even give it the time of day anymore, especially as you grow older as a man. You're just put and conformed into a little box, into a little corner, into a little thing to the point where you don't actually uh, individualize into a sovereign entity on this plane of existence. You just become a pawn on the chessboard. You become somebody that's a cog in the machine. As a true man, as a true alchemist, you can never let that vision go. You can never let that vision die out because you were brought here to alchemize that. And I know for a fact you have it because I have it and every man has it. I'm just talking to the men out there right now for, for, for the time being. And when I'm saying I'm talking to the men out there, I'm, talking, I'm not just saying mass, uh, male gender. I'm just talking about the true men out there. The, the guys, the boys and stuff like that, this ain't for you. The true men out there who feel that calling, who feel that passion, who aren't just going about life, letting them pull it to this direction, pull them that, that, that direction. They actually see a vision. They see it internally and they see how that timeline of their internal vision can be met with this external timeline if they put in the work. If they actually go in step by step, day by day to actually put in the work. But... The more you don't, the, the less you can see that vision, hear that vision, feel that vision, the less, the less it becomes actually palpable for it to manifest onto the material world. That's why you always need to connect back to that vision, listen to that vision, feel the signs, feel the signals, feel the synchronicities. Don't just let them kind of pass by because like I've said before on this channel, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, sends you signals, sends you synchronicities to tell you that you're on the right path. Yet, it's not going to keep sending you the signals and the synchronicities if you just look at it, brush them off, and you go about someone else's path again. The more you just kind of neglect this spiritual side to you, spiritual side to you as a man, the less it becomes uh, actually practical to you for your use in the modern day world. This is a skill, this is a sense. This is a muscle that can be developed. It's so dormant for most majority of people. But you do certain practices, you actually hone in on this overall uh, journey of improving your mind, body, and soul to become a divine vessel for God, like I talk about on the pra Patreon. Shout out to the private Patreon community. If you haven't joined up yet, man, that's fraudulent behavior fraudulent fucking behavior if you want access to exclusive content full guides in-depth occult lectures and get into our monthly masterminds where we got a private group chat 
where you can converse with me and also get onto the live calls that we're going to be doing now two times a month. Yes, sir, two times a month. Then go check out the links posted in the pinned comment of this video. In the pinned comment of this video, you'll also be able to find uh, application forms for one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching if you want to dive into more in-depth and more uh, guidance on this path of becoming the best version of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually, along with one-on-one uh, -on -one consultations. Everything's going to be posted in the pinned comment of this video. Make sure you go check it out. I mean, we got the newsletter, we got the free community discord, all that good stuff, man. Make sure you go run it up. But like I was saying in the private Patreon community in that first video I dropped, talking about becoming a divine vessel for God, the more you actually correlate alchemy, uh, the, the, the philosophy, the ide ideology of alchemy and the overall pursuit of becoming a divine vessel for God, they go hand in hand. God's giving you certain thoughts, certain visions, certain intuitive uh, dreams almost, even in the dream landscape, to be able for you to actually produce it out into the real world, alchemizing it out into the real world. Take those base metals, those base uh, substances of visions, of dreams, of innate desires, and actually transmute all that stuff through action through physical action because as a man if you don't act guess what nothing's gonna fucking happen but you take all these things transmute it through physical action and then you actually produce it out into the physical world i'm telling you bro i'm telling you as a man to man i've only got little glimpses of this as i've been on this journey of building up this brand building up this business and building up my own mind body and soul through the art of self-mastery there's no better feeling in the fucking world as a man. I don't care how much sex you have. I don't care how many drugs you take. I don't care how drunk you get. I don't care how much money you win. I do not care. There is no better fucking feeling in the world as a man. When you see that vision in your head. And then you put in the work. Over months over weeks over years and you finally just take a step back to look at it and be like man this was absolutely nothing at one point this was just a thought in my head that was given to by god this is just a little kind of like a pebble that base metal and through this process of self-mastery of actually putting in the work of actually producing these uh qualities in myself to actually be able to alchemize this into my physical reality i was i brought this i brought this initial thought those base metals and turn it into physical real external tangible gold nothing can beat that bro nothing can beat that and if you bring me a a person that actually has done this they will agree to with me a hundred thousand percent a hundred percent this is why a lot of men when they will first start off going to the gym this is why we get addicted to it. This is why we get so honed in on the whole process of building up our physique. We came in as a very scrawny, maybe you're overweight, maybe you were like me, just lanky, super skinny and stuff like that. And then we slowly build up or chisel down these aspects of ourselves that we already had that vision in our mind. We had that physique in our mind before we even had the physique uh, physically. So when you take all those progress pictures and you see where you started and where you came from, that is alchemy out in front of you, right in your day-to-day -day life. That's what I mean by alchemy. You had that vision in your head that I'm gonna go put in this fucking work at the gym, sculpt my body, do all the proper things with my nutrition, with my recovery, and then I'm going to match my timeline with that timeline that I have in my head of me having that physique, of me having that uh, dream body of me having that dream athletic performance did that, did that not feel like one of the best moments in your life obviously it's an ongoing process always but when you take the time to actually reflect reset and look back on all the progress you made you're like fuck man what a what a journey this is amazing this is what life is all about this is why i said only the true men will actually understand this the boys, the guys, the, the just like the adolescent people that are, they can, they can be older than me, but they're still living as a, basically a man-child. 
little bit of bits of pleasure are, are more sustainable and more uh, suffice for more of their needs and desires. But for a true man, it's progress, it's the process, it's the idea of turning base metals into gold that will make you truly fulfilled in life. And when we're talking about just the physique building part, that's like a very surface level and just starting point of it. Imagine doing that on a higher level. Imagine doing that with a business. Imagine doing that with your spiritual growth. Imagine doing that with every other aspect of your life that takes a little bit more of your mind capabilities, of your spiritual qualities, of still, of course, your physical attributes, but puts them all together to the point where you, you're working all three planes at once. You're working the mental plane, you're working the physical plane, and you're working the spiritual plane to accomplish that goal, to bring that vision into reality. Imagine that type of fulfillment. This is why as a man, as a true man, like I keep saying, you need to have that vision and never let go of that vision. Never let go of that vision. Not only is it going to always gnaw at the back of your mind if you don't actually take the steps towards it, but guess what? At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, when you're six feet under, those karmas, those desires, those innate, that dead weight of the guilt, of the shame that's going to be uh, still lingering in your psyche as you pass away, is going to cause you to come back to this realm and try it once again. And guess what? You might not be in the same type of position where you can get out there and do it. So this is your sign to not only liberate yourself on the mental and physical plane, but also liberate yourself spiritually as you're now becoming a divine vessel for God and walking the divine path that you were always meant to go. Again, those thoughts are not yours. They're not yours. They were brought to you by a higher source. Don't neglect them. Don't let society tell you what you need to do. Don't let your parents tell you what you need to do. Don't let Vladi Fitness tell you what you need to do. I hope that as you watch my channel, as you're going through my content, whether it's on this second channel or the main channel or you're into the private Patreon community or we've done consultation calls, coaching packages, all that stuff, I, my main goal is to make to educate you, make you more aware of these types of things and give you certain tools to go out there and do it yourself. I'm not here to dictate your life. I'm here to tell you some of the advice that I wish I had gotten sooner to help accelerate your progress much quicker than mine and go not have to deal with all the pitfalls and the obstacles and the, just the overall frustration of this path of self-mastery because it's not something that you see a lot of people into. It's not something that you can talk to all your friends about. It's not something that you can just go talk to your um, family about or your school teacher about. This is something much deeper. This is actually becoming the version of you that God or the universe needs you to be to accomplish the will of the consciousness of human humanity, to elevate it. You are a part of this play. You are playing a huge role. And when you start to let go of all the other dumb shit, you start to let God dictate, not dictate, but yes, dictate at the same time, but be on your side. Act as a coach, act as a personal trainer. Because again, I'm not here to be your personal trainer, even if you're in my coaching packages, even if we work one-on-one -on -one together. I'm not here to be your lifetime coach. I'm giving you, coaching you through the process of being able to connect yourself to that, the ultimate coach your higher self and then you'll be able to progress on the path that only you were meant to go I don't know your path no one else knows your path people can help you like I said knock down all the dead weight that's holding you back from actually getting on this journey but once you're on the journey man it's all on you and the higher source the supreme source guiding you throughout this helping you alchemize those base metals those thoughts those innate desires those things that just seem to pull you draw draw you as a as a kid it used to suit like very very interest you all these types of things take all of them put in the work put in the blender stir it all up and guess what start cooking and actually alchemize that end product that finished product 
that's going to make you truly fulfilled in life. That's, the, that's what the finished product is going to do, make you truly fulfilled in life. And as a man, again, I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how hot the girls are that you fuck. I don't care how much muscles you have. I don't care about any of that stuff. None of that stuff. If those things are on the path, so be it. But if that's your main goal, you will never be truly fulfilled in life. And that's why a lot of these people who are rich, who are getting all these girls, who have all the material things, they end up self-deleting themselves. They end up depressed. They end up suicidal. They end up uh, doing a bunch of drugs, do just being a degenerate because they feel empty and they think that pleasure, because the whole society tells you that pleasure is the main, is the highest source of uh, uh, highest emotional level you can get to, highest level of consciousness you can get to, then they just fall into that and guess what? All this stuff never truly makes them fulfilled. Never truly makes them be like, damn man, I am just grateful for life. I am just happy I am in this position to be able to actually pursue these things, even though it's difficult, even though it takes a lot of energy, even though it takes a lot of effort. As a man, I'm built to be a workhorse. I'm built to be an alchemist. I'm built to actually bring my vision to reality. So I'm just sending all my thanks and everything like that to the Almighty to allow me to do this. Nothing is going to beat that, bro. This is why this is such an important video, an important message for the people who have gone this far into the video. This is so important because in this world we live in, bro, in this social media age, Everybody's telling you what it means to be successful. Every motherfucker has their own vision of success, their own term of success. Oh, for me, it's 10 Lambos. Or for this guy, it's 20 Lambos. Or for this guy, it's a $90 million house. Like, that's cool and all. But if that's not the vision that you were given to by God, it's not gonna make you feel fulfilled. So why even waste your time to go out that shit, man? Why waste your time? Why let somebody else tell you what it is that you need to do? Connect back with the source. And that's why we got to go through these tools. That's why we got to do certain practices like semen retention, like other spiritual practices, like understanding our own psychological uh, inner workings and reprogramming our mind and just understanding how society put certain things in place for you to get distracted. You have to understand the traps. You have to understand the game. You have to understand how everything is played in order to truly be able to detach yourself from all these things kind of pulling the strings behind the scenes to be able to actually become sovereign, become somebody who can actually start to alchemize that vision into reality. Because at the end of the day, if you let somebody else do it for you, guess what? All that guilt, all that shame, everything is going to be working in your mind and all that turmoil is going to eat you fucking alive bro i've been in certain positions like that where i was like man this is not what the fuck i'm trying to do this is not what i was brought here to do i was brought here to do something better something bigger and it's not like an egotistical thing of like i'm better than everyone i'm to no i'm just saying that i was only tapping into 50% of my potential. I knew deep down and I know that I have so much more to grow and I want you guys to understand that too. Just because you're on the path doesn't mean that you are at the pinnacle or at the top. Even though when you think that you're at the top, there's another little section of the mountain that you got to climb. And then you go on to this and you're like, whoa, what the fuck? There's another section, another section. It's an ongoing thing. The whole, the, the pinnacle is just being on that path, on that process. You already at the highest stage when you just take the step the first step towards becoming the best version of yourself mentally physically and spiritually and alchemizing that vision into reality becoming a divine vessel for god becoming the best version of yourself not only for yourself but also for the the overall development of society of humanity because if you if we don't do it guess what there's a whole bunch of motherfuckers out there that are trying to dim it down dim down the overall development of society and make it more degenerate we're supposed we're we're supposed to invert that go against the grain and actually start to evolve help everyone evolve in our own way and that doesn't mean you have to be a coach you have to do this and you have to do that go on youtube and talk about all this stuff it doesn't mean that just you being on this path you become a beacon of light for others to follow as for other men to follow 
when you, when another fellow man sees you and sees that let's just bring it back to the analogy of the gym let's say you and your friend were both thinking about going to the gym and then he doesn't start up because he's kind of like self-conscious about it and stuff like that but you take the steps and you do it and then you put in the work for months and months and months and then next time you guys go to the beach together you take off your shirt he's like fuck dude you were skinny as shit before you look amazing now you look fantastic now like i didn't believe that quote unquote this could be done but when i see somebody else do it guess what you have that cognitive bias you have that social bias of if he can do it why the fuck can't i because most men are like that if you're not completely depleted of your testosterone and your masculine drive as a man if you if we're being honest with each other like if you see somebody succeed in something nothing not because you think that you're better than them but it just gives you more confirmation that yo i can do it too why the fuck can't i if this douchebag did it why the fuck can't i this is how i first got onto youtube and started building my brand and my business i started seeing other people do it. i was like and I can do it, and I can do it probably even better. That's the ego uh, being active, but in a masculine, it's a, in a masculine essence, but in a actually uh, assistant, actually helping you assist on this journey. Don't think that oh, the ego is bad and this stuff and that. That, yeah, that drive, that internal just willpower and that belief in yourself, that's the ego coming into play, and you gotta kind of use it to your advantage. You can't kill off the ego and be like, oh man, I'm just not gonna do anything in life. Dude, realize that other people out there who are quote unquote dumber than you, who are quote unquote not as uh, intellectual or just not as driven or not as purposeful as you are actually alchemizing their vision into reality on a day to day basis. And again, don't make it like a dick swinging contest of like, oh, I'm trying to be, be better than this guy, better than this guy, better than that guy. No, that's, again, that's playing into someone else's frequency and turning, tuning your transmitter, your radio transmitter into someone else's, which is not gonna bring you the, the best quality of sound, of the song, of the vision of life that you want. Take the, just the, core, the overall core concepts and plug it into your life, your path. And guess what, man? Nothing is going to hold you back anymore. There's gonna be trips and traps along the way where you can learn how to navigate them and duck, bob, weave, all that stuff. But when you have a strong enough why, a man will find any how. That's a quote from Frederick Nietzsche, a German philosopher whose work was a lot about of this uh, idea of the ubermensch of what kind of I'm uh, piecing up together in my own perspective of becoming an alchemist, the ubermensch, the ultimate man, the superman, the alchemist is the same type of ideology. The man who is fully devoted to his craft, not only to for external resources or the external benefits of it, but actually because he is just devoted to the art in itself, to the uh, process of alchemizing their vision into reality and actually devoting themselves to a higher source, a higher goal, a higher pursuit, and allowing the universe to flow through them, to actually work through them as a divine vessel for God, a divine instrument, a divine vehicle, whatever you wanna call it, to bring the best, produce the best amount of work, whatever work that it is that they're meant to do, to help elevate humanity in some way, shape, or form. That's like the Uber mentioned, that's what the alchemist is. And if this is something that you are actually correlating to and you're, you're actually understanding, you're picking up what I'm putting down, man, I'm telling you right now, like, you are far beyond, or far ahead of the game, far ahead of the schedule. Like, a lot of people, if they listen to it, they'll be like, what the fuck is he talking about? This guy's geeked out, this guy's fried out. But if this makes sense to you, that means you have that inner alchemy or that inner alchemist waiting to be awakened. The only thing that's holding you back really is limiting beliefs, is self-sabotaging um, behaviors like watching porn or just depleting yourself of your life force energy or just being around shitty environments or eating junk food or not actually building up your, your body and just letting 
uh, social media, all these things rot your brain so you're not able to actually communicate and actually tap into that spiritual essence of yourself which gives you the information that you need. So all these types of things are there just holding you back. But the inner alchemist is there waiting for you to shred those shackles and shred those layers that's kind of like holding them, holding it in a straight jacket. Once you let that shit go, bro, I'm telling you, I'm fucking telling you, you're going to accelerate every progress in life and amplify every aspect of yourself to another fucking level to the point where people are going to look at you as a totally different person. It's just waiting to be awakened, bro. Waiting. It's all on you to finally understand it, be aware of it, and actually put in the work and the progress to actually get to that point. And this is something that's not, not like, okay, I'm going to go put in the work, so I'm just going to go to the gym and fucking lift weights and wake up at 5 a.m. That's, that's the external work. This, this path of self-mastery is much more internal work to the point where you're not adding in new habits, you're not adding in new things, you're actually detaching yourself and deleting certain things that are in the way. It's more of, it's not bulking, it's cutting, if that makes sense. You're not adding on more layers, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this. Yes, you're switching out bad habits for good habits, but you're not adding in so much more things that you overload your system. You're actually taking away all the layers and getting back to your core essence. Because at that point, at that level, at that essence, at that moment in time or the actual um, concept of getting to the core, that is where you'll find all the answers you're looking for. That's where you'll find the connection to God or to the higher self of, or to the universe that's going to give you each and every step that you need and it's not going to give it to you like a fucking lecture not like this it's going to give it to you in different signs synchronicities intuitive abilities that you have to develop again these are spiritual senses that are waiting to be awakened that are waiting to be developed you've you've atrophied those muscles because you haven't actually worked them for so many years you're letting someone else dictate your life when you, let's say you um this is a good analogy before we wrap things up. Like, have you ever watched that movie Wally, -E, where all these people become like fat, lazy, and they're all like on like scooter, I mean like uh, chairs that are, like, act like scooters, that drive them around, they're just eating junk food and stuff like that. And there's, they can't even walk, they can't even stand because they've not used those muscles, that, that sense of being able to walk because they've been so coddled and they've had this uh, device direct them here direct them there that's the same thing happening to you in your spiritual senses when you have somebody else or something else dictate your life guess what your cycle psychologically your your uh, muscles of the mind are going to atrophy and when you, those muscles of the mind atrophy you lose that connection to the source to your spiritual essence because it's not needed you're actually not putting in the work you're actually not activating it you're keeping it dormant you gotta awaken that shit, bro. You got to awaken that shit. When you actually awaken it, guess what? Everything, it will take time. Like I said, there's so many different things out there from society that it's kind of pulling you back from. Uh, degenerate habits, from societal programming, from this overall uh, illusions of who you are and what you're supposed to do and all this stuff that are just kind of pulling you back into that little comfort zone of being in that chair, of not awakening your spiritual senses and all that stuff. Or doing these types of things, awakening your spiritual senses, is uncomfortable because you're going against the grain. You're going against the path of least resistance. We're all built to go on the path of least resistance because it's comfortable, because it's known. When you dive in, into the deep end, into the unknown, guess what? You got to learn how to swim or you're going to drown. And that puts you in a weird mode. Well, you're not used to it but I'm telling you somebody or something or some sign from God from the universe will throw you out that life raft and give you a little bit of assistance along the way just jump off the cliff just jump into the ocean just jump into the unknown you'll be good you'll be straight it's it's difficult it's weird it's just overall like you feels like you're going completely against everybody else but I'm telling you that refreshing feeling that fulfilling feeling when you finally do a cliff jump or you finally jump into the water you finally do something that's 
kind of always been there. Your body's telling you, do it, do it, do it, do it. But your mind's like, hey, I don't want to do it. It's nothing is better than that. And that's why I brought in the whole analogy of cliff jumping. I love to do that. I love finding 50 foot cliffs when I'm uh, just hiking out in nature. I always look for places that got cliff jumps. And even though my body's like, man, dude, this is sketch. This is crazy. I always just, I love that feeling of just being totally like, it's either or. It's either you jump or you, you're just a bitch. <laughs> you just go back into your bitch mode, your comfort zone, and that gnawing at the back of your head. I remember one time uh, I was going cliff jumping and I was like, man, this is way too fucking sketch. The entire hike back and the entire week afterwards, I was like, fuck, man, I should have done that. I should have done that. That's even more amplified when you have that vision as a man that you need to alchemize and you've gone throughout your whole life just being a person who doesn't actually pursue it, doesn't actually uh, give the time, energy, and effort to become that person who can actually bring that uh, vision into reality, produce and manifest their dreams into their physical existence. Like I said, you're going to be on your deathbed thinking about that shit. And guess what? That stuff lingers on over to your next life. If you want to make this life your best life and also your last life, you better get out there and get motherfucking busy, boy. Never let go of that vision and always just realize that there's nothing holding you back other than yourself. There's different things in the way that society puts it out there for you, like different rat traps, mouse traps, uh, little quicksand and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you have the conscious ability to be able to first of all see them because at the moment, maybe you're blind, you're just kind of blindfolded walking through life and you have that internal vision, but you haven't un undone the uh, blindfold to the point where you can see these tra traps in your way. Once you actually take the time to peel off that layer, then you're gonna be able to go into the next layer of, okay, I'ma hop over this, I'ma jump over that, and I'ma go right on that path that I know is mine. Once you're on that, man, ain't nothing holding you back. Ain't nothing fucking holding you back. And guess what? You're gonna be the most fulfilled you are in life, no matter how difficult things get, no matter how uh, just overall rough situations might be. You're getting that, that, that spiritual steroid that fucking trend, that fucking testosterone, that spiritual testosterone injected into your spiritual body, that spiritual um, essence, that vehicle that will just supercharge everything else, your mind and your body to the point where the only reason that you're not going to accomplish, you're not going to succeed is if you quit, if you just bend and fold under the resistance. Come on, man. Come on. You as a man are meant to be an alchemist. Let this all marinate in your mind, bro. Let that marinate, let it cook, let it just overall uh, blend everything together to the point where you can actually understand and pick up what I'm putting down so you can apply it into your life today. We got no more time to waste, bro. You're meant here, you were brought here to be an alchemist. You were brought here to be an artist. You were brought here to create the vision that you have up in here not only for yourself but also for the betterment of humanity so don't neglect that motherfucker do not neglect that well with all that said man it's been your boy out here in the field in the flesh dropping all that game so you guys can make these games and i'm out of here peace